Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the LTE-X and the LTE-M-X series communicators by Residio. So these are going to be super easy to install. Uh, it's six wires total, and the device comes with a wiring harness already for it. So what we're going to do first here is we'll get the device opened up. As you can see, there's a screw here that you're gonna to need to back out just a little bit. It doesn't come all the way out. Once you've gotten that backed out, you just pop it open like this. It just opens right up. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be wiring into this little slot over here on the side. So this thing just snaps in place. As you can see, their little wiring harness that they've included for us here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that snapped in. Okay, once you have that thing snapped in, you're probably gonna wanna feed the wires out of this little knockout in the back, or maybe you wanna do it through here. There's actually a little punch out slot up here too. Uh, either way, any way you wanna do it, but uh, just make sure you get those wires out of the way. I am not gonna do that, however. I'm gonna be a little sloppy, sorry guys. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go with my connections to the keypad bus. Now remember, prior to doing anything on this panel, you need to make sure this thing is completely powered down. Unplug the backup battery, unplug the power supply. There should be no power at all going to this system. Once you've confirmed that, we're gonna go ahead and wire it into terminals four, five, six, and seven, just like a keypad. So we're gonna take the black wire, that's gonna go to terminal number four. There will be other wires in here. As I said, this is the keypad bus. So anything that requires aux power or anything that requires data transmission will be going to these terminals that we're wiring into. So black wire to four, red wire to five. There will be other wires going in there, of course. Then we're gonna go with the green wire to terminal number six. Get that locked in place. Once again, there will be wires in, in these slots, just to reiterate that. And finally, the yellow wire, we're gonna go to number seven and get that locked in place. Okay, once you've made those connections, this device is wired back to the panel and 100% ready to be activated. So what you need to do now is you would get your cover placed back on screwed down in place. Obviously I can't do that because I was sloppy and, and didn't feed the wires out the back, but that's all good. Get the case closed up, get your screw put in place, get it mounted over to the side, however you'd like. At this point, you can power your panel up. Make sure you get the Mac and the Mac CRC from inside, by the way, and then give us a call for activation. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.